All right, I'm going to give you some tips today on how everybody can be a little better at this, covering that 12 feet of floor space and being themselves and polished and put together and still authentic and organized and personable and everything when you get over here. Would you all like to hear about that? Well, great. And at the end of the t today, I'm going to give you an opportunity to take a first step or two toward getting better at it, OK? So like I said a minute ago, I'm going to talk about this is a presentation about presentations. And it's really just got two parts. I'm going to talk about preparation, and I'm going to talk about performance. And all this is to help you, give you tips to get over your fear of presenting, if you have it, or the people you work with, be better organized, and be more authentic when, when it comes time to do presentations. And I'm not talking always about standing up in front of a room with a PowerPoint and everything. This can be presentations that are one-on-one -on -one with a client, one-on-three. -on -three. It can be you and a board of directors. It can be anything. But all of this, when you have to prepare something in advance and then present it in a way that looks together, that looks like you mean it, and gets a result, that's, that's the kind of thing that I work on with people, and that's the kind of thing I feel could be done, could, everyone could improve on this. All right. I'm going to suggest to you that you boil down a presentation to no more than three parts. Okay? Part number one, part number two, part number three. I have seen, and we all have seen, a million presentations that try to cover 27 things. And the presenter has done no work on simplifying it any further than that. They have just gone number one of 27, number two of 27, and it becomes this incredibly unwieldy thing that you can't really wrap your head around. And nobody has an attention span for 27 things, especially in an hour or 90 minutes. They have an attention span for like three things. Now, I'm not suggesting that you take your 27 and reduce it to three. I'm saying you take your 27 and group it in three categories. So that when you come out and if you do want to say your agenda, I, I sort of said mine. I said I'm going to talk about preparation and presentation. So I made it two, actually. But I'm talking about a lot more than two things, right? So you take and you group it into part number one, part number two, part number three, and give each one of those parts some kind of really brief, and hopefully kind of snappy title that, they, that the audience has the feeling that they're hearing three things, even though they're actually hearing many, many more than three things. But their brains can wrap around three, and they can't get around 27. They'll forget it, and if they forget it, then you've lost the, you've lost the connection. It's